Welcome back to the course in Robotic Process Automation. It is time to step things up a bit. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically save an attachment that meets certain conditions into specific folders on Google Drive. You can do the same with OneDrive or Dropbox or other cloud services. It is worth mentioning that we receive a lot of files from different people almost every workday. You can guess then how long it takes you from January to December, just to save files, then extrapolate how much your organization spends in saving files. Let the numbers convince you that this simple automation is a time saver. We need to start on Google Drive for this automation and create several folders. Folders could be person-based or project-based. You need a bit of time to think this through so that you prevent file duplication, especially for files that need to be edited. Here are the folders that I have created. Now let's go back to Power Automate. We are going to use one of the templates for this automation. So click on Templates on the left navigation. Search Gmail and Google Drive on the search bar. Select it. If you have not connected to Google Drive, do so and then hit Create Flow. Click on Edit. As a good practice, give it a good name. I'll call it Reports from My Manager. Remember that I have a folder for such. Expand advanced options on the Gmail step. Since I can't create triggers based on email addresses, I'll use keywords. These keywords are called strings in Power Automate as you might have noticed. But if you are using your organizational account, feel free to use email addresses. I'll use the email subject again but this time, to search for the term, report. This will do for now. Collapse the Gmail step by clicking on it after you've set up the triggers. Let's now look into Google Drive. Expand the apply to each attachment step. Because this is a template, the setup has been done for you to a certain extent. Our job is to specify the folder. Click on create file. Click on the folder icon and navigate to the folder name that you created for this automation. Alternatively, you can type the folder name as it is if you remember the path. We're done. The automation is set and you can follow the steps as before to test the automation. But before that, make sure to save. Remember to duplicate the automation so that you can automate for other scenarios. That's all for now. See you on the next video.